Are you guys familiar with this guy Mo Sargi on YouTube? So this dude is like a ghost hunter, I think. I, I almost made a video on him a month ago. I want to see. You know what he did? Mo Sargi, he uploaded a video. He must not have watched the edit because there was a clip that was left in. It was should have been deleted. It was like kind of them setting the scene. And he was like, all right, now after I come around this corner, like just hit this thing, make this noise. I'm going to act scared. And then like when I come around here, like do this. And I don't know if he has an editor or he left it in himself, but he f***ed it up. This is a massive basement for an old spooky house like this. It kind of reminds me of like a mental. No, you're too, too early. When I say mental asylum, I no. I when I say mental asylum, do it. Quick inventory. We discovered witchcraft. Demonic child lives in this haunted Airbnb. This Airbnb mansion is haunted by children. Oh, is this a Raid Shadow Legends bit, dude? Hold on. If this is sponsored by Raid Shadow, it is. Everyone knows Raid Shadow Legends by now, but did you know it's Raid's second year anniversary? Happy birthday, Raid. That's right, it's been two years since Raid burst. Oh! Basically took over. Since then, Raid has only You guys want to watch so the whole thing? Should we watch the whole Raid Shadow Legends ad? No, no. Instead, let's talk about my long-term video sponsor of today's video. ExpressVPN. Since you're watching a Leon Lush video right now, I'm going to just assume that you have a 200 IQ like myself, which means you're also a fan of the comedy Rick and Morty, which requires a refined taste. <laughs> so you hop on Netflix for that good shit, but whoopsie daisies, it's not available in the United States. That's when you fire up ExpressVPN, you connect to a UK server, refresh the page, and you can binge all the 200 IQ jokes your fat brain can handle. That's right, not only is ExpressVPN a privacy app that protects your data and keeps your ISP from tracking every little single thing that you do, it unlocks hundreds of Netflix shows and movies by allowing you to connect to their over 90 server locations worldwide and lift the geo restrictions so you can watch whatever you want. Listen, I don't know what kind of weird shit you're doing on the internet in between your Netflix binges and I don't want to know but I'm guessing you don't want your ISP to know either so give yourself the privacy you deserve while you're watching the shows that you love doesn't matter if you're on a boat on your laptop or in bed scrolling your phone ExpressVPN has an app for whatever device you're using so you can have access to all the additional programming I mentioned previously on top of all that it's less than seven bucks a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee so find out how you can get three months for free by using my link in the description that's expressvpn.com slash Leon Lush and then join me on Reddit as we laugh at Rick and Morty memes and make fun of people that aren't smart enough to understand them like us. I appreciate you. Throughout the 10 days that I've been basically living in this historic mansion, we've had a lot and a lot of disturbances. Paranormal disturbances happen. It's funny, that happens everywhere you go, Mo. That must be such a weird coincidence that everywhere you go and bring your cameras, there's always paranormal activity. It's almost like... It's not real. The other day, Angelo came over to see me, and as I was making an espresso, what did you see? The, the cup literally flipped over on its own. The kids were playing flip cup in the attic? I'm less worried about the ghosts and more worried about these ghost kids oh. underage drinking. Not on this Christian server. Not on my watch. Running up and down the staircase. Yeah, dude, you're not kidding, dude. Who said, yeah, Jake, you're talking, you're telling me that my man Mo's two and a half million subs making videos for four years made hundreds of thousands of dollars, probably more. And you're still using f***ing camera audio, bro? You're still using like a little road fucking dick on the top of your camera in a huge room that's not acoustically treated? Get some lab mics, bro. Make an effort to sound a little bit professional. It actually looks like AIDS too, like you don't even have... Like, you're fucking backlit. The chandelier is completely blown out. I don't even think you have a light in front of the camera. Like, how have you done this for so long with zero... <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I mean, if, if Josh was here, he'd get it. Josh is a super production snob. Not in a bad way. In a good way. I like that he is. But Jesus. <sighs> Is it safe? Is it... Bro, what the fuck was that, bro? Who... Who tur... Who turned off the stool? Bruh. Who turned off the stool? Some fucked up shit, bro. Well, oh, Angela got punched in the face by something. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on a second. <laughs> Sorry. Let's just... Uh, let's just, uh... Let's recenter ourselves here. What did I just watch? What was this? 
What? Oh, what is that? I got punched in the face by something. That's <laughs> <laughs> weird. Just like a ghost. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you guys around the house. We're gonna explore it. Now we want you guys to help us out with this investigation. It, really? Do you? How? How can we do that, Mo? Is it possible to do that when you're uploading a vod, Mo? Can I help you now that this is uh, two weeks later? Now that it's already happened, is that possible? Or are you just looking for fucking engagement to help you in the algorithm? How can we help you, Mo? Please indulge indulge me and please tell me how I can help you with this fucking investigation, you big prick. It's almost as if I want you guys to be on this investigation with me, which I really do. I wish I could investigate with all of you guys because I know how much you guys are passionate about this. So he's marketing to fucking eight-year-olds. Got it. Keep in mind, this was a very old historic mansion. It still is a historic mansion, but it was updated and renovated imagine you're like scrolling youtube one day or no better yet you walk in on your son he's like nine years old watching youtube and you're like honey what are you watching i'm my favorite youtuber mo sargi and you're like let me see that and you realize that this dude made a fake ghost video in the airbnb that you own <laughs> they told me a lot of the details and information about it that light should not be on that was not on we actually turned it off did you though Mo, or did you, you know what I mean? Like at least, at least have it turn on in real time when no, none of you are near the light switch or something. Like, what are we just supposed to trust you, Mo? Oh, yeah. I was sitting editing my videos the other day on the dining table that I showed you guys. The TV just turns on full blast i, I don't even watch is he still telling Everybody. stories that don't that aren't true like show us something mo show us like a costume show us a ghost left behind there's I fucking toys it's literally just a playroom let me guess those weren't there 14 minutes ago mo Hello? is this a 30 minute video you walking around a house telling me stories mo or are you going to show me something cool are there any spirits in here with me that want to communicate talk to me okay i'm just curious k2 EMP meter. There it is, boys. 60 bucks. The K2 EMF meter deluxe black. It's actually Amazon's choice. So, you know, the, the EMF meter plus free ghost Augustine flashlight. 400 ratings, all of them from Mo Sargi fans. This fucking meter really works. I saw it light up in a Mo Sargi video. What the f is this? What do you think is, what do you think actually triggers, what do you think the actual science behind this is? Like it, it, it catches um, like carbon levels or like something. I'm sorry, like full disclosure like I'm very I'm a fucking skeptic dude the whole ghost hunting shit like using meters to fight like no dude I don't want to trash talk people that are into the spirit world and stuff but this stuff is just seems to me like a complete grift a 100% grift like you're carrying around this piece of electronics this electronic device made in China probably and you're gonna wave it around your house and you're gonna find a fucking ghost dude like suck my dick I'm sorry fuck off <laughs> Oh my god, a dehumidifier? That thing just started making... The K2 EMP meter? Oh god, I got the shivers right now. If it moves on its own, then I'll be impressed. If it cuts, though, then you're a dick. You guys just saw that, right? You guys just saw it move? I did. You guys literally just saw that move, right? Yeah, I mean, you... I saw that move. I'm not I getting mean, anything from the K2 It's on, It's like a pendulum. It's, it's on the hook. So you just... You let it go and then you walk into the yeah i mean you guys I got you my get lights it. off like mo if you're gonna convince me like at least like use some sort of special effects or like a piece of floss and have your buddy in the other one be like ye -ye 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 -ye. like a fishing line or something have it jump around on camera without making a cut i know these eight-year-olds are easy to convince bro you can just cut in anytime you want but you're talking to the big leagues of skeptics right now all right i need to see some shit i need some like nine foot tall tommy sucking the life out of his mother's neck all right y'all know what i'm talking about if you've been around for a minute <laughs> look at her fucking face oh he's leeching her this is taking me by storm right now yes. different angles creepy more angles of the coat hanger my name is Mo Sargi. I'm a paranormal investigator. Oh! My name is Leon Lush. I'm a paranormal investigator debunker. I'm a paranormal. I'm a YouTuber paranormal investigator debunker. But you probably already know that because you've been watching the stream. <laughs> you don't want to do it again? Fine. Don't do it again. <laughs> Fine, little bitch. Can you give me another sign that you're here? You little ghost bitch. Turn the shower on. I dare you. You little ghost bitch. 
What are you, like, seven? Any sign is fine. I saw your toys in the other room, you little fucking toddler bitch. Mmm, fucking scary, you're fucking six. Little dumb bitch. That was the wine talking, I'm sorry. There's gotta be, like, a jump scare or, like, anything. Like, Mo, I feel like Mo could be really crushing it right now if he took some of his YouTube loot and, like, reinvested it into kind of the horror piece of things, right? Because when every video is just, like, a fucking cock tease, drag along, 30 minute, nothing happens bullshit, like, even kids might start to catch on, right? But if you spent like a fraction of what you make from these dog shit productions and hired a VFX editor to like edit in some kind of like scary jump scare shit, dude, I guarantee you, your shit would be popping the fuck off right now. This is free advice, Mo, if you're watching this ever. Just reinvest a little bit of that money, you know what I'm saying? There are people that really love this shit, dude, that like watch this and are like, man, that was fucking green? crazy. Oh shit, look at that. It's oh my god. Oh my it's god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ghost, ghost, ghost. Mo, be careful. I hope you guys are ready to see how creepy it is upstairs. And like I said, this is the staircase that we hear. <laughs> like I told you guys before, this here is a staircase. Uh, just want to make sure you notice that as I'm walking up them. And as we get to the top of the staircase, this here right in here is the top of the staircase. Uh, this was once built. Actually, many years ago, there was a staircase built here, which just happens to be this current staircase. It's a staircase, and I'm stepping up it. I'm on the staircase, and I'm now walking up the staircase, and as I might have said a few minutes ago, this is a staircase. Uh, five minutes elapsed. You're like, well, this was fucking great. Inside of this place, and really creepy. It's very old, like I said. You can hear all the floors cracking. Just any small movement. That's not creepy. Dude, that's just literally wood. That's wood being stepped on. Wooden nails together. Built several years ago tend to make noises that's not creepy at all that's huh? science or something i don't fucking know <gasps> oh my God, that is all right that was the scariest part of the video so far no i'm not even fucking with you Hold on. Ah! well that was not on before and this is what <laughs> I think it was gross, Wait, dude. The first time that I actually got fucking creeped out. No. Holy fucking shit, a fan is moving? No! It's almost like fans are meant to move. Is it just me or is it spinning faster right now? What the f It's almost like sometimes fans move with the draft in the room. It's almost like if you turn on a fan and then turn it off, it will continue to move for an indefinite period of time before the momentum stops and it comes into a complete stop, which could have happened okay, off like camera. Turn, it's almost you like turn that on, I want to die. Always... I can't, dude. The fucking shtick is so dead. I mean, between the staircase and the fan that ha just happens to work, uh, like that's fucking five minutes of video right now. We're talking about a staircase and a fan that are doing what they're supposed to. It's really creepy. It's really old. And oh, oh yeah, I just hit my head. Oh, bad luck already. Guys, there's a hand railing here. I hit my head on the hand railing. This is so creepy. This hand railing's really old. It hit my head. My head's throbbing. It must be a ghost in the hand railing. This is what I mean, man. <laughs> What I mean, and there's a display. That's what I mean, man. This it's ghosts. It has to be ghosts. How why how else would I have hit my head on this old creepy fucking hand railing next to this creepy creaky staircase? Whoa, I did not see these dead spiders and bugs here the other day. Yeah, those just showed up. They came through a ghost portal. Just as uh there's other ghosts in another realm and another reality, actually, my desired reality, that opened up a portal and shipped all these dead window bugs to this window that I did not see here the other day. 100 percent was not here, just like that fan wasn't spinning when I walked in the room earlier. You're kidding me. What is it? Bro, something just knocked behind that door. Yeah. It's a human made out of coat hangers and dangling flesh. <laughs> Creepy. So this right here is why I believe this place is haunted. Yeah. This is this bedroom over here. Is this why? There's this little secret. Oh, there's bedroom. another door? That's kind of sweet. You can tell it's a bedroom. You can tell it's a bedroom because this here wallpaper. That's just like a, another crawl space. Actually, this was used as a closet because there's a closet hanger up here. There's a, a, a thing here to hang your clothes. So this was a little That bedroom. can't be right. I'm pretty sure it is a bedroom. Don't know why or how any kid would sleep in here. Right, it's almost there's over. No we get the, ven the ventilation is terrible in here. 30 seconds. I can almost not even breathe in this place. Yeah, for 
So many kids died in this room. I know it. I can tell by the wallpaper. Oh, what what the f is that? What is that? Oh my god, what is that? What is that? It's a kid's toy. I've heard that a hundred thousand times. To be continued. He turned this 30 minute pile of trash into fucking two parts. Oh my fucking lord. So he at least put demon in the attic. So he made it two parts and he put this thing in the thumbnail. You guys see the thumbnail right here. We have to see if they actually 43 minutes. Holy fuck. Ah, uh, that's all it. That's it. When Mo asked, you gave us a scare with the steps. I heard the spirit box say so sorry. <laughs> Isn't it weird how the toy immediately stopped mid-song as they were walking up the stairs? Bro, that's effed up. Stay safe out there, Mo. So you mean to tell me there's motherfuckers that watch this and actually think Mo's in imminent danger? That is just what a illusion this man has created. This is amazing. To the people that don't believe in ghosts, show this video to them. This is raw, straight-up evidence that ghosts exist. Crazy.